Today on Go, easy love and in your face. ISBE Domain. From the street, this building doesn't look like much, but when you head inside, it is an artist's wonderland. We are going to be learning about a very fun event happening here in Edmonton inside the ISBE domain this Friday and see some of our very talented local artists. Plus, we're talking to two of our sizzlers. It's gonna be a great show, but up first, age is no barrier for this local golfer. Excellent, thanks for that, Tim. I am now joined by Mike and Miru, and we're talking all about an event you can catch this weekend, Easy Love and In Your Face. And your last name is Ing, so I yes. think that has something to do with you. Tell us a little bit about the event. Uh, well, it's, um, it's basically showcasing a lot of local talent. Um, now, what we're about, we're, we're all about music, art, you know, a bit of food and some friends. Uh, so that's what we're showcasing. Um, there's quite a few different local artists that we're going to collab with um, in terms of music and art as well. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's, it's just a, a party celebrating um, our, our collaborations together. There we go. Wonderful. And uh, this space is absolutely incredible. I've never been here before. It's ISB -E yeah. domain. It's called Tell us e about the, the space. Um, you know, we're always looking for kind of interesting spaces to do you know, parties at and have our friends kind of jam at that are, I call them atypical venues. So it's really just an art gallery, but we're going to transform it into more of a, like a party vibe. And uh, I mean, it started about eight months ago and they've been throwing some great shows here, among other things, you know, artsy and non-artsy. So it's just kind of off to be, the, you know, beaten path, but I think that's what our demographic's really into. So we just really want to showcase like what Edmonton has to offer that you might not really see, you know, until you look a little bit. And what do you think Edmonton has to offer that other major cities maybe aren't offering? Uh, you know, it's it's about co the community really. Yeah. For for um, the time, I mean, it, it's with all the big cities like Vancouver, Toronto, Montreal. They've already had that ex established, and there's such a huge population there. But here, it's it's more of a tight knit community where we can just showcase our friends' work. There we go. Yeah. Okay, well stay tuned. We have lots of art and artists that we are going to be featuring in the show and two sizzlers under 30. So stay tuned. We'll be right back on go after this. Mind blown, a piece of work done by Pat Ennis, the resident artist here at ISBE Domain, actually working beside me at the moment, and it looks like he's doing the exterior of the building. If you're just tuning in now, we're talking about an event happening here this Friday. It's called Easy Love and In Your Face. It supports local artists. There's going to be music. There's going to be fun. It's going to be a great event. So stay tuned. We're going to see another one of the artists whose work will be featured this Friday. But up next, Angelica introduces us to a local fiber artist. Wonderful. Thanks for that, Ange. I am now joined by another one of our sizzling 20 under 30 nominees. This is Julie Rossington, director of Reeves College here in Edmonton. So first off, tell us a little bit about yourself and then about the college and what you do there. For sure. Um, Reeves College is a business and technology school. Um, we go over, uh, acupuncture is our specialty. Acupuncture. We do, yes, it's a fabulous program. <laughs> uh, computer graphic design, uh, medical office administration, BAM programs, uh, the business specialty. It, uh, quite a bit happens in there. It's a campus of 150 people. So even though it's a very small location, it is a busy little hub. Mm -hmm. um, Which is always the best, I find. It's more intimate for the students as well. They're learning. It's more face-to-face -face rather than face to across an auditorium face. And, and that's always nice and intimate. Exactly. They get to know their instructors one on one. They get a lot of assistance. So, I mean, we know you face by, uh, you know, each other's face. Mm -hmm. You know, every student, we probably know their name. <laughs> and it's, it's an exciting change compared to, you know, being in a sea of people. So it's a nice change. Wonderful. And you are the director of the college. How long have you been with Reeves? I've been with the Reeves for a year and a half, and I've been in the education industry for four years. Okay. Yeah. And uh, how do you find this new role for you? You're, you're settling in quite well the last year and a half. It's fabulous. Uh, I love the ability to work with all of the staff members. Um, I love that ability to grow them, and it's so exciting to be able to create change in both the students' lives and the staff lives. Wonderful. And you also create changes in their bodies as well. That's correct. <laughs> At least one day a week, we do um, either a yoga session or a running club or a workout routine to be able to try to help the staff members deal with stress. You know, you know, hit their achieve their goals. You know, some people have weddings coming up and they want to shrink those 10 pounds so we definitely um, we always do that once a week and it is a fabulous little routine for <laughs> bonding team building it's a great great 
free time. <laughs> there we go. And I know you have a lot of uh, volunteerism below your belt as well. Uh, but what do you like to do when it's just Julie time? When you when you're not working? When you just have me time? Uh, strangely enough, I love to run. Okay, good. <laughs> so That's not strange. <laughs> even even when I'm not doing the routines, I still love to work out. So lots of yoga, lots of running. I do love traveling. My boyfriend and I love scuba diving. Nice. So that's a big thing that we, we have on our list to always keep working on. So keeping busy. Go. There we go. Julie, thanks so much for your time and congrats on being a nominee. We're going to take a quick break on go. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Here we have Jay Tannenin, another one of our local artists, just straightening some of his work on the wall. Big smile from Jay, a friend of mine. So handsome. Look at that handsome face. Addicted to Love is the title of this body of works, or, or a sample of the body of works, right, Jay? Right. Okay, and uh, tell us the inspiration behind this sample of body of works. Uh, well, it's just an expression of, you know, human emotion and different states of being that you can be in as a person. So I just kind of play with that and doing a bunch of paintings and then a bunch of drawings in the basement as well. Very nice. So if you want to see Jay's work, you have to come to the event here at ISBE Domain this Friday. Okay, coming up next, we have another one of our sizzling 20 under 30 nominees right after at third and goal with Jordan Greenlee. Thanks for that, Jordan. Okay, now as promised, we are now joined by our second Sizzling 20 Under 30 nominee. This is Danny Huang, and uh, only 20 years old. I think you're one of the youngest Sizzlers this year. Tell us okay. a little bit about yourself and your research in science. For sure. Um, so I'm currently a third year student at the University of Alberta studying biochemistry. I actually started research when I uh, was in grade 11. The summer of grade 11, I was put in, into a pediatric oncology lab at the university, and um, from since then, I've been working at the university uh, and working on different projects mm -hmm. and that addresses different aspects of cancer. Wow. Now, being in grade 11, why, why did you decide this is something I want to do, start researching, and, and how did they pick you and then mm -hmm. put you in the U of A to, to uh, actually fulfill that? Right. So my maternal grandfather was actually diagnosed with gastric cancer when I first immigrated to Canada. So I knew I really wanted to help out in the field, um, not just in fundraising, which um, is important part. I wanted to play a more significant role, uh, which is why I took on um, the initiative basically to find a more, uh, more significant role, and that is research. Mm -hmm. um, how I got started basically is I was selected by a um, university program called the Heritage Youth Research Summer Program, and basically they match selected students with a university professor wow. at the university. And I was, I was lucky to be picked for the program. Wow. I was grateful for that. Yeah. Wow. And Denny, I also know that you've helped with Kids Help Phone and bringing that to the U of A. Right. So in the summer of grade 12, I worked with the Edmonton coordinator of Kids Cell Phone, Sherry Cameron, to bring the um, Kids Cell Phone chapter to um, the University of Alberta. Mental health is an emerging problem in our society, and I really want a way to uh, um, help with DC. Well, you're an absolutely incredible guy. Very remarkable. Thanks so Thank much for speaking with much. us, and congrats on your nomination. Thank you very much. We're going to take a quick break on go. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Some very interesting pieces of work. These done by Rochelle Queen, a Calgary artist. And these are actually party photos taken from Facebook that have been brought to life through art. Welcome back to the show. If you're just tuning in now, we are still down here at ISBE Domain. And during the break, I got some interesting information about where the name comes from. ISBE, so I stands for immortal, spiritual, being, Edmonton Domain. You can also refer to it as ISBE Domain. Again, the event Easy Love and In Your Face happening this Friday. You can get tickets at Foosh on White Ave, and there are some other locations. Stay tuned. We're going to let you know the other location at the end of the show. But now, it's over to Brad Walker for our final piece. Excellent. Thanks for that, Brad. This piece by Garrett Plummer, another local artist. This is called Red Vermilion. And as you can see, it actually works like one of those cool old games that you put things down the, I don't know what it's called, Plinko on Prices, right? Very, very cool. So once again, the event Easy Love and In Your Face happening this Friday. You can get tickets at Foosh on White Ave as well as Quantum Leap. That was another business that I couldn't remember the name of. So Quantum Leap and Foosh, get your tickets, come down experience some local art, some music, some entertainment. It's going to be a blast. I've been your host, Dana Giesbrecht. We'll see you next time.